subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. There are a couple of things I suggest you should do. First, download the exam study guide and go through it. Make sure you build a good understanding of all the topics that are part of the course. Second, sign up for a good self-paced online learning course that has good reviews. There are some good courses on Udemy and you could look up other online learning sites as well. Third, sign up for a free Azure account to do some hands-on exercise. Now, what this will do for you is it will make it easier for you to understand and recall concepts when you need them during the exam. Fourth, once you have taken the course, check back with the study guide to make sure that there is good coverage across all topics. For topics that you're still not confident about, I would suggest supplementing your knowledge by going through the Azure documentation or through other online uh, uh, resources. Fifth, next, you should appear for uh, two to three mock exams and if you of course you can get these mock exams on Udemy or other uh, websites if you consistently score above 80 percent I think you are ready to go ahead and take the exam if you've been using Azure for a while the exam should not be very challenging for you it covers basic concepts around cloud computing, Azure architecture, some core services, uh, Azure management and governance. Even if you don't have any hands-on experience following the steps I have outlined uh, earlier, you should be able to clear the exam comfortably. I think preparing for and appearing for the AZ900 exam is a good idea, even for those of you who are experienced Azure professionals. It's a broad based view of Azure and its capabilities, and you will take away some key learnings, even if your current level of uh, Azure is good. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.